Well, everyone seemed to like the last time we did it, last couple times we did it. So we're back with another unboxing of more Pokemon cards. I found some more, so I figured let's do another pack opening. Here we go. So I was at my local GameStop training in a couple games that I picked up at pawn shops for dirt cheap for a nice profit and saw that they actually had Pokemon cards on the shelves. And of course, Pokemon cards are very difficult to find. I believe my Walmart has stopped selling them because I haven't seen them there for probably a month. But they had some at GameStop and they were priced at four bucks. I figured, you know what? They had them and I'm paying for it entirely with credit that I got as a bonus for these games that I picked up at a pawn shop. So let's do it. Let's check out a few packs. So I have actually two different kinds of packs this time. Of course, we have another Chilling Rain, which is the pack we opened last time. But I also have Vivid Voltage, which I believe is the pack that came out beforehand. So we're gonna start with the Vivid Voltage, I think, this time, just to see what we get from that. And then we'll move on to the Chilling Rain. So let's check this out and see what we get. Are we going to get anything good? Who knows? Probably not. I mean, I've gotten some decent cards, I'd say. So here's the code card for those who use that. And it's, it's four. Okay. I did it right, I believe. So we're going to start off. We have energy, uh, Exadrill. That's a cool art for Exadrill. Uh, we got a Nuzleaf. It's a cool Nuzleaf. I like that. I mean, if he's not fall over. Uh, Opal! If you've played Sword and Shield, you know Opal is a very interesting character for sure. Uh, Milcery. Milcery is a very strange Pokemon that Opal actually uses, so that's cool. We've got a Meowth. Galarian Meowth, so it's a Steel type, which is cool. I like the artwork for this. I think these are these are really nice. Uh, Chimi Chimicho? Chimicho. Chimecho. Well, I don't know how you pronounce it. That's cool. Work. We got a Blitzel. Cool little Blitzel over there. Nice, nice. I already kind of, I don't know what card it is, but we do have something good in this pack, so that's nice. Uh, we got a Slugma. It's another nice one. All right. I'm not going to look at what the last card is. I'm just going to show it to you. Uh, first, we have a Reverse Hollow Galarian Meowth. And then the big card. Oh, it is a VMAX or Beetle. Full art. Nice. That is a pretty solid looking card. I don't know if it has a lot of value. It might. I'll have to take a look. But that's a cool looking card for sure. So we got we got something good in that pack. So nicely done. That tends to not be a good sign for the second one because I don't think in the last couple videos I did, I opened two packs, but both times one of them had a hollow and one of them didn't. So. Since we got it in the first pack, I'm gonna assume this one's probably not gonna have anything great, but you never know. Maybe I'm gonna get doubly lucky. Maybe I'll pull like one of the most expensive cards in the, in the game. That'd be great. Got here for the Chilling Rain pack. And now that I know the trick, I'm definitely gonna use the trick. So here is a code card for those who use it. One, two, three, four. So we have Water Energy. Next we have a Whirlipede. That's cool. I think we might have that one actually. Melanie, another another trainer from Sword and Shield. A Cybold. I don't know who that is. We have Galarian Yamask, a cool Pokemon. I like Runarigus, I think that's a pretty cool one. Uh, we got Snow Runt. A little tiny Snow Runt. We got a Bun Sweet. Pretty cool. We have Cup Fu. Whereas Cub Fu is common, and he's technically legendary, but pretty cool. Uh, we got an Inkay. Inkay. All right, I, all right, here we go. We didn't get a Hollow as expected for the last card. We got a uh, Reverse Hollow Brawly, and then the last card is a Scolipede. Rare, non-Hollow. So, as expected, kind of, we got one cool Hollow card and one that was not uh, Hollow. So I am gonna take a look and see what this Orbeetle is worth. Probably not a lot, nothing. I've, I think the most expensive card I've gotten is worth like maybe four or five dollars. 
So I'll take a look and see what this Orbeetle VMAX is worth, and I will update everybody on how we did. All right, so I took a look, and there actually are a couple of these Orbeetle cards that are worth some money. This one is not, though. It's only worth about two bucks. So it's a cool looking card for sure, and I'll definitely add it to my <laughs> my holo collection. I'm starting to get a decent holo collection. I think the best part I got is that uh, Glare and Moltres that I got, I think, in the last video. It's worth like, six bucks or something. Not not a ton, but still pretty cool. So there you go. That is going to do it for our unboxing, our pack opening of Pokemon cards. Again, if you want to see me do more of these, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely down to keep doing it because it's kind of fun. And you know, maybe one of these days we'll open a pack that has a super rare, super expensive card that I could flip on eBay. That'd be pretty great, but we'll see. Or I'll just amass a nice collection of Pokemon cards, uh, just like back in the 90s. So we'll see what happens. But that's gonna do it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. New videos on this channel are four days a week. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And I will see you on the next episode of Unboxing. Bye-bye.